in Change the System News. I thought you were going to say Ching Chang Chong News. No. <laughs> Submitted by JK News is a daily need in my life. Yay. Yay. A mom emailed her daughter's school saying she won't be doing homework anymore. The mom won't be doing the daughter's homework anymore? Mm -hmm. No, the, the daughter, daughter won't be doing homework anymore. You know this mom ain't Asian. Wow. Watch that she is. No, Asian parents give their kids even more yep. homework on top yep. of the homework. That happened to me. You know, my mom gave me all these like math homeworks when I was younger and I couldn't go out to play until I finished them. Me too. That's not even a joke. This is real life, it's people. It's real. Yep. Yeah, so all of you guys out there, uh, doing extra homework, just be like, look, JK, they did extra homework, and look where I got them. So don't give me extra homework. But I don't use that shit. You know what they used to do to me? Uh, my grandpa would give me like 20 questions, and every question I did wrong, it's an additional three. <laughs> so those 20 questions, because you're trying to go out and play, you're probably gonna miss at least like four of them. So now those 20 turns into 32, it turns into 45, it turns into 50, what about that? Big it's bad. Then you find, then you fucking get addicted to jacking off because you can't go outside. That's why Michael. You got addicted to jacking off. No, that's why Michael likes hookers. Stop pointing that gun at this us. This is I'm gonna fake. Look. This from you. Ew, ew. 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 You know what happened to me? I protested because I'd rather get my ass beat than to do homework. You showed her. I was like, I'd rather just take the beating and then go outside. I would feel defeated as a parent. I'd be like, fuck, how do I, don't I get that. to this? I didn't even have that option. Mom. My mom was too tired. Yeah, so this mom, her name is Bun Me. Bun Me. Wait, wait, Bun Me. She's bitten a meat? Bun Me, yeah. That's her name. Well, how do you spell this name? Oh. Uh, it's spelled B U N M I. I thought it was B A N H M I. <laughs> yeah. Bun Me. Bun Me. She's a 33, like a sandwich. She's a 33 year old mama. She's an American living in Quebec. Mm -hmm. She's an author and a blogger. Okay. Alright, so she sent. This email to her school, she posted it on her Facebook. Would you like Fail to read? School. Yeah. Hello, Maya's teachers. Maya will be drastically reducing the amount of homework she does this year. She's been very stressed and is starting to have physical symptoms such as chest pain and waking up at 4 a.m. worrying about her school workload. She's not behind academically and very much enjoys school. We've consulted with a tutor and a therapist suggested we lighten her workload. Doing two to three hours of homework after getting home at 4.30 is leaving little time for her to just be a child and enjoy family time. And we'd like to avoid her sinking into a depression over this. Thank you for understanding warmly. Bye bye. Oh, 4.30? Get home at 4.30? That's late. That is pretty late. My yeah. school always got out at three. Yeah. I know because I would remember watching the clock and just waiting fucking <laughs> Oh, it's the three o'clock, yes! <laughs> I remember that feeling. <laughs> Maybe it's like after school activities though, because I mean like I know these days a lot of kids, you know, they have their regular school and then they do like their extracurricular tutor stuff and they get home a little bit later, right? Oh, like an after school program yeah. of some sort? <laughs> yeah, so Bunmi, she posted this Bun me. with this caption. It's pretty lengthy, so bear with me. Okay, here we go. My kid is done with homework. I just sent an email to her school letting her know she's all done. I said drastically reduced, but I was trying to be polite because she's finished. My 10 year old loves learning. She independently reads 10 to 12 chapter books a year and regularly researches topics that interest her. Right now she's writing a story about wolves. She takes coding classes, loves painting, and likes something called Roblox that I don't fully understand. But over the past four years, I've noticed her getting more and more stressed when it comes to school. And by stress, I mean chest pains, waking up early, and during school in general. She's in school from 8.15 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily, so someone please explain to me why she should have two to three hours of homework to do every night. How does homework until 6.30, then dinner, then an hour to relax or finish the homework before bed make any sense at all? Is family time not important? Is time spent just being a child relaxing at home not important? Or should she become some kind of junior workaholic at 10 years old? Did you know that in Finland, homework is banned and that they have the highest rate of college-bound students in all of Europe? Children do not need hours of homework to succeed, yet we act like sitting at a kitchen table after a full day of school somehow makes sense. It does not. It does not. It does not. Children need downtime after school the same way adults need downtime after work. They need to play with their siblings. They need to bond with their parents in a relaxed atmosphere. Not one where everyone is stressed about fractions because, surprise, I am not a teacher. Children need time to just enjoy their childhoods or is that just for the weekends, although we do homework on Sundays also. 
My kid is all done with homework. If the school wants to punish her for it, then I guess I'll have to figure out how to homeschool. I'm very nervous about it because although I work from home, I do work. I also have a, a three-year-old who only goes to preschool two mornings a week and a seven-year-old in sec second grade. I'll have to hire a tutor to help me and will need to find a group of parents doing the same thing, but I have no choices at this point. We all want our children to grow up and succeed in the world. While I believe in education, I don't believe in for one second that academics should consume a child's life. I don't care if she goes to Harvard one day, I just want her to be intelligent, well-rounded, kind, inspired, charitable, spiritual, and have a balance in her life. I want her to be mentally and emotionally healthy. I want her to know that work is not life, it's part of life. Work will not fulfill you. It will not keep you warm. Family, friends, community giving back and being a good person will do that. I suppose I'll hear from her school tomorrow. We have decisions to make, but going forward, this is a homework-free household and I don't care who knows it. My kids, my kid needs to be a kid. I feel so conflicted about this <laughs> because on one end, that's a very, very logical argument. And if your kid is learning, doing research on their own, why can't they relax when they get home? But the other side of me is like, I grew up in a homework age and I want people to suffer the same way I did. No, you don't. You don't yes, I uh, do. You sit in that chair and all of a sudden you have like fucking David thoughts. No, that's, that's, <laughs> I, that's literally my thought. I grew up so fucking Asian with extra fucking homework all the time. So my, my uh, even when I learned piano, I had my level one bullshit, which is the fucking, uh, what the teacher assigns me to do. And my mom will go and find other sheet music and at the end of the piano lesson, which is way far advanced from my capability, she goes, can you also teach him this? So one side I'm playing like, and then the saints go marching in, da 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 And then at the end of it, I'm like stretching my fingers out because I'm fucking trying to cover notes that my little hands can't even cover on the keyboard. I get extra homework for everything. Should have learned to play stupid. <laughs> oh, really? It worked for me. When you, you don't want to do the work anymore, no, just, I didn't play, but it. You I just, just make your parents think that you're not very capable, and they won't expect much out of you. Mm. Secrets, secrets of a bad child. Too smart. I was just stupid. No, you I had the option. I wasn't smart enough. I didn't, I didn't think of that. I, I, I always that. tried my best, and it, it got to the point where my teachers were calling my mom and saying that I needed special school, and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how. Asian moms always give you fucking math homework, right? Yeah. Even though after you finish your shit, they want you to do extra shit. So I remember I was only doing addition, subtraction, whatever. Um, and then she's trying to get me to memorize the multiplication table. And I'm like, but this ain't even my time yet to do that. And I got a fucking date at four <laughs> that we're supposed to be going on a bike ride to like the park. And I'm like, what am I gonna do to get out of this, right? So we had a standoff like it was straight up like oh i don't know what i'm doing i don't know i can't do this mom and then she's like yes you do just do it this way and then she, i'm trying my best to pretend that i fucking don't understand what's going on and then the worst. and then i kind of got it and then this part is a blur this is her telling me i was so young i don't remember it but she goes okay i'm gonna cook you your favorite like dish it's like this fish with fucking um you know, soy sauce and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna fucking cook me that? And she's like, yeah, but you gotta get this done first. Oh, okay. She fucking got me, right? I think I know how to do it now. And then she says halfway during her meal, she just came back and she saw me playing with my toys, and she's like, how the fuck did you do this perfectly? But I don't even remember that. So. <laughs> wow. You little troll. Yeah. Dang. But yeah, that's, that's the way to do it, guys. Just lie and pretend and pretend that just make sure your parents realize that you're kind of on the level of Forrest Gump and you'll never go to Harvard <laughs> destroy their dreams Forrest Gump is so stupid yeah. don't you guys feel destroy like destroy their dreams the best advice like, Joe. don't you guys feel guilty best. about that though like because like for me when I was younger I felt like an obligation I don't know if it was to my parents but at least to myself or to someone right to do my homework and to actually try I was just trying not to get no. beat. No, I never really felt like that because I always had my own agenda and if whatever they wanted on me didn't fit my agenda, then it just, I was not inspired to do it. I think for me it was like, if I wanted to do something else, but my parents had like a different agenda for me, I would just feel guilty and then I would change my agenda and then do what they wanted. Oh, but yeah. did they beat your ass, Michael, if you didn't do what they said? No, they never beat my ass. That's why, it's the difference. 
Like, but they what? probably mentally guilt tripped him or mentally fucked him over. Like there was this one time where um, me and my friend we rode my we rode bikes around the neighborhood, right? And um, I guess they went a little bit too far than my parents wanted. So then like when I got home, I told them. And um, I was you told them that hey, you wanted me to go this far, but I went further. No, no, no. I told oh. them that I rode bikes, you know, around this 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 distance, right? And then um, they were like, oh, that's a little bit farther than we want you to go. So next time, don't go that far, right? So the next day, my friend and I we went to ride bikes again. And when we got to that point, I was like, oh, I feel kind of guilty. So I just turned around and went home while my friend was like, why, why, why? And he just went off all by himself. Yeah, you're a good kid. You're also not a good friend. <laughs> yeah, I was a great friend. I was a really, really good friend. What the fuck, Michael? Why are you leaving me? The, f the funny thing about this is that um, my parents would have never even known if I had gone farther, you know, than they wanted. But I still feel guilty that I turned around. You're a bad friend. Oh, horrible friend. I was a good friend because I, I was the one that told all my friends that if they wanted to get kicked out of their house, they could stay at mine. Damn. That's a good friend. So I was always harboring people that were getting kicked out of the house all the time in high school. Well. There was a lot of response to this uh, post, and for one example, it says, As a fourth grade teacher, I fully support this. In fact, I have not given my students the first night of homework this year, and their academic growth has been just as much or more as I've seen from other classes in the past. Not to mention the fact that they've seemed less stressed and ready to learn when they walk into my classroom. I hated homework so much. Another one's a, psych a child psychologist saying, Thank you for being brave and taking the stance and standing up for what you know to be the right choice for your daughter. You're modeling so many positive values that go beyond academics here. Assertiveness, focus on family time, keep us posted on how the school responds. I was curious on what happened with the whole school situation, but she never posted an update, so. I how do you feel about this as a mommy? Well, Isaac hasn't gotten to that great, because next year he's going to be in fourth grade, and this girl's in fourth grade, and fourth grade is like where the hard like work oh my, starts. Uh, so I'm preparing for that this year, but I mean, yeah, I feel like kids should have time to to spend at home. I don't think kids should time. have homework. Yeah, I mean, if you they can't get done, what like they're there the entire day. Like yeah, you're there from like seven up. until when, like three, and you got to go back. That's more than a full time job. Yeah, exactly. And you know why I hate homework? I have to check the fucking work. <laughs> I, dude, me and Casey hated homework so yeah. fucking much because it was so <laughs> frustrating. We're like, what the fuck? Like, we're not teachers. We don't know how to like teach it to him. Yeah, keep that shit in the fucking classroom. Yeah, so that's why I don't like, expect the teachers to wipe my kid's ass. Exactly. I'll wipe his ass at home. But they might have to wipe his ass from time to time. No, I'm gonna. I don't expect the teacher to fucking cook my kid barbecue at school. You do your school shit. I do my home shit. Tag team, yeah. boom. Yeah, it should be like that. And like how she said, like there's there's uh, schools in Europe that they don't have homework and they do just fine, if not better. It's just so stressful for kids. Man, yeah, I hated homework and I'm not about to do it again. Stop missing out on all of the JK News uploads. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when the videos are coming up. And for the last video, click over here.